Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance and this is an M44, the Tier 6 American SPG and we're located on the north spawn of Erlenberg and this is an assault battle but you can see that this is a rather special M44, it's one of Sir Rusty's creations the What Are Tnibs M44 in the US Army colours and it's being driven by chips and beans and battle has commenced. Well, looks like he's going to head off to the east side of the battlefield. M20, uh, E25 dashing in front of him. Uh, we've got to let the E25 get off to his uh, firing position because uh, he is actually going to be uh, quite useful in terms of uh, uh, damaging the enemy and tracking them to allow chips and beans to do some damage overall. Now you can see that lovely uh, shine on the What Arty Noobs logo on the side of the vehicle and you can get this uh, logo free of charge so Rusty has provided it free of charge to any What Arty Noobs member. Very kind of him. Okay now we're ready for battle. Chips and Beans is aiming for a target and we've got Type 64 up on top of the mountain round out. Oh um, that was a bit... Uh, bit short and he's relocating straight away don't want to use that particular position too often because I've seen far too many counter batteries successful because the enemy knows that, that position is used ah oh, you can see there's a red line there so yes he gets a direct hit the red line extended past the uh, uh, target, the Type 64, and so you knew that the shell was going to hit the target bang on. And because it's an open cockpit tank, uh, light tank, uh, it went right in and destroyed him. Okay, T28 HTC, rolled out, and it splashes right next door to him, 209 hit points. To add to the 289 he got off the Type 64. Right, there's an IS. And he's sitting in a dip there, but uh, he has got a solution. Will work, round out. No, nope. fell short. The reason for that, obviously, was it wasn't fully dialed in when he fired. So you were going to get some variation there, RNG. He needs to let it dial in fully before you can shoot to get an accurate shot. T3485 sitting there, taking shots. No, nope, he moved just at the last moment. That was unfortunate. But he's moved just a little to avoid counter battery. The reload on the M44 is so quick, though sometimes it becomes difficult to relocate. Round out. That's a direct hit. 196 hit points. Because by the time you've actually moved, uh, it's almost ready to shoot again. And it helps to dial in the aim because you've got only a few seconds uh, before... Uh, you're ready to shoot and he's ready now round out that should hit oh that was so unlucky it went right over the top of him exploded behind him but it did stun him very unlucky because it was dialed in it looked as if it was uh, perfectly lined up t28 prototype but he's stopping every now and then there to take a shot and he gets a direct hit this time 166 hit points Now, T28 prototype again. Getting ready. He seems to get stop at that point to fire. Rode out. And that's another direct hit. 212 this time. So he's certainly racking up the points against that T28 prototype. He's had five hits. so Four hits, sorry. The other one was the T28 HTC. There's a Revolerice or Ravioli as Jingles calls him. That is correct, actually. They were called raviolis uh, by some people. I know he jokes about it, but it is true. That was the correct name. Okay, T28 prototype again. Round out on T28. Good hit. 154 hit points. Okay, now very few hit points left on the T28. Next shot should be enough to finish him off. But we've got an IS there and Chips and Beans is going to... No, he's going to go for the T28. It's in the dip, round out, and it is a kill shot. 
206 hit points. That's his second kill. First kill was the type. Now he's got the uh, T28. Right, IS. He's using that ridge line for cover, but it's not going to protect him from the shell coming in from above. Round out. Right onto his turret. 111 this time. I do like his technique, actually. He's only moving backwards and forwards on the same spot, but it will keep them guessing as to exactly where he is. Okay, now he's got a blown reticule there because he had to adjust sideways. That probably won't hit. No, it didn't. When you get a blown reticule like that, it does help to go through the re-aiming process altogether. I've had some absolutely dreadful games where I haven't let it uh, dial in. And as a consequence, the shell goes nowhere near the target. Okay, there's the targets. They're engaging that T-34-1, Stuart Mill and uh, the Ravioli. He's going to go for the Stuart, is he? No, the Stuart's taking a hit. Round out on the Stuart. Should kill him. It does. Nine hit points. I think that was fairly obvious. He had very low health. And if you can splash kill a target, all the better. Trouble is now that there's only one tank on this side of the map. Now, he's indicating uh, to the rest of the team, get over this side as quickly as you can. They're fighting off a VK, um, or rather not a VK, a T-3485M, who's having a lot of success. But there are far too many enemies on this side of the map and only one defender. And that was a direct hit there on the T-150. So the defender on this side, the uh, TD, who's actually doing all the work protecting him, um, and that happens to be a charioteer, is actually uh, providing all the spots that Chips and Beans is using. Now, he's lost sight of the enemy for the moment. But there, there's the ravioli. Round out. Oh, it tracks him. 223 is a good... Sh 233, rather. It's a good strike, that was. But that ravioli is getting rather close now. And so he's going to have difficulty resolving a shot on him. Because as he gets closer, he's got to cope with the ridge lines. And you can see he's got a red line at the moment. He won't hit it. He won't be able to hit it. Yep, he can only hit it when it gets to the top of that rise there. That's when he can hit it. So he's waiting for it to appear. And the chariot here is going to see it first. Now hopefully it will come up over the right. There it does. And he gets a good direct hit. 218 hit points. Now, can the charioteer do something about it? I hope so. He got some sun assist straight away. 244. He's backing himself into the corner. Just in case the Revolise saw where he was. He's loaded. Round out again. Good hit. 216 hit points. But we lose the chariot. No, we lose the, uh, uh, the ravioli. I beg your pardon, the charioteer is still there, hanging in. He's only got 35% uh, of his health left, though. But Chips and Beans is relocating to avoid being counter-batteried. The enemy RT is a Hummel. Now, they're not... They've got a fairly good fire rate, Hummels. That IS went down. He was killed off by the Chi Ri, which is actually over the other side of the river. So it looks like the enemy, um, the, rather the enemy, the rest of the team, <laughs> they're acting they're acting a bit strange, you know, staying that side. Um, they're preventing any attack up the west side of the map, but they're also spotting the targets uh, or hitting the targets spotted by the charioteer. Um, and there is only two enemy left now. There's the T-28 HTC and the Hummel. So they could go arty hunting now. Still no sign. There's that T-28. He's, see, he's been spotted up by the houses. Okay. Line him up for a shot. Round out. All oh, went long. He is in a, on a ridge line there. So that's the one minute hooter. Oh, we lost the charioteer. We're going to lose sight of the T-28 any second. He'll get one more shot and then he's blind. Round out. And he kills him. So he's wiped out the last attacker. The only the Hummel left. Um, and 38 seconds still to go on the clock. I think we could say that this one's in the bag. Thanks to Chips and Beans and that charioteer. 
because if it were not for them, the enemy would have come straight up the east side of the map and straight into the cap. Oh, there's the enemy Hummel. Yep. He's firing in. He thinks he knows where uh, Chips and Beans is. Well, Chips and Beans is now motoring a little further south to make sure there can be no further counter battery against him. Um, and six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And battle's over and they've won. They didn't find the last uh, enemy, the Hummel. Uh, but so he gets away scot-free. Uh, but let's have a look at the end of battle results. So I should say, just say, actually, there is a win eight, a five nine three one on that battle. So let's have a look and see what comes up. Actually, it was a lot higher. It was six three four six. Um, he got an ace tanker. He got his mastery in the M forty four. He also picked up a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He did get four. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 15 in that battle. And lastly, he picked up a gauze medal. He did more damage, exceeding eight times the hit points of his vehicle. A sum should be at least six, 2,000 hit points altogether. So let's have a look at team scores. Well, he came second on damage with 2,366. The Charioteer got the highest score. Unfortunately, he was wiped out at the end. But uh, nevertheless, he still did a lot of good work spotting for uh, chips and beans. Uh, he got the highest number of kills with four. And he got the highest base XP with uh, 1,144. He fired 21 rounds, got 11 direct hits, 11 penetrations and 6 splash. He did damage of 2,366 hit points of which 1,932 were at more than 300 meters. He hit 7 of the enemy but killed 4 of them and he did damage assistance or stun assistance rather I should say of 484 hit points of 13 stuns. On a standard account he earned 30,748 credits. And after ammunition resupply, he still had 20,143 credits. He received three bonds for that battle. And he earned 1,144 XP. And there was no multipliers, so that's all he took away. But it was a very good battle. And you can see the, the cooperation between uh, the charioteer spotting for him and chips and beans. And it was really working very well. And the reason why the, uh, the charioteer did so well in that battle was mainly down to the fact that uh, he was supplying all the information to Chips and Beans, who was then using it to strike the enemy hard. So well done to the pair of them, and uh, well done to Sicko Rex 69 So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.